anybody have a success story? I love success. No, did anyone make any money last week? I made some money, Claude. I want to hear. Oh, you always make money, Chris. Chris? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay, what happened? Um, I had a, a cool little story happen, um, and I'll try to be real quick with this, let everybody else talk. Um, so my uh, wife, she reached out. She found a house in the neighborhood uh, that we live in that was vacant, and she reached out to the guy. She made an offer to him, and he really just kind of, you know, drug her around and didn't answer her phone calls after the offer and said he'll think about it and all of that. <laughs> so I called him and act like, you know, we were two different people. You know, I was with a whole nother business, and I just got on the phone. I hit him with a pattern and a rub. Hey, Troy, I want to write you. You wouldn't want to check for that property over there today. And he was like, well, yeah, I want to check. Let me hear it. And we'd start talking, and – he tried to do me the same way as I think about it. And I was like, Troy, you're not allowed to think about it. You want to, you told me you want to sell this house and you need to get rid of it for the tax auction. I want to buy it from you. Uh, can we do a deal or you just fire me? He was like, yeah, we could do a deal. I want to, I want to get there first and see, check out the property. Cause I may fix it myself. And I was like, well, just keep it. It sounds like we're not going to do business. Well, it sounds like it's over with. And he was like, well, just hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll call you when I get there and see it. And so finally he got there and he then did me the same way he did my wife, except I was just a little more pushy. And the whole reason I'm telling you about this story is because um, he felt like I was very pushy and we almost had like a, these argument or like a, got into like a fight almost. I said, so he was trying not to show up or give me a commitment to meet me at the house and do a contract. And I said, uh, Troy, you said Friday, and now I've changed my schedule around, and now you're screening my calls, you won't answer me. You know, I've, I haven't met a man that changes his words so often. Good luck selling your house. Ooh. I think it's over. And so I fired him on via text because he wouldn't answer my calls. And then he, he tells me, I'm not screening your calls. I just got into town, asshole. My truck would not run when I got here, had to get the <laughs> truck to the shop, waiting to get another one. You are very pushy, and I'm guessing you have thick skin. Is this the so, new? Uh, is this the new? You're an asshole, Mr. Prospect Technique. I mean, this is. <laughs> I'm I'm always willing to learn new techniques. Yeah, new, yeah. New, new chapter said, in the next book. <laughs> uh, he told me you're very pushy. I thought you had tough skin. Um, you you lied about the sale date on my house. I haven't changed my word. I'm working in three different states. I have a very hectic schedule. You want to do a deal on the phone uh, right away. If you still want to meet me, let me know, and I, I will be in town next Friday. So I basically told him I tried to fire him. I did what you said. I've been patient and accommodating to your schedule and indecisiveness, but I haven't received the same in return. You've been taking, you know, taking me in circles, and honestly – I think you're too attached to sell it. You stated you had a problem. You agreed to tell me no if we couldn't solve the problem. I didn't lie. According to the information, your auction date was last month on June. Simply put, either you want to sell it or you don't. But if you don't, please spare us both the time, stress, and headache. Instead of me chasing you, bothering you, getting your voicemail, calling you over and over, and then waiting for you to tell me, Chris, it's over. Why don't we just be two adults and you just tell me it's over now? We don't have to meet in person. You can sign it electronically. And, you know, but right at this moment, I don't think it's worth my time. He called me like 30 minutes later after I fired him again. He said, Chris, I want to meet you on Monday. I said, Troy, if we meet on Monday, what's going to happen? Are you going to sign a contract or are you going to keep giving me the runaround? He said, yeah, if we can get, if we can do work in agreement, I'll, I'll be ready to sign. I got there. And he tried to do it again. I wrote out the contract. He's like, well, now I need to think about it. I was like, man, this guy here, man. So I didn't want to let him. I tried to push him as much as I could, and he still didn't want to sign it right then. I ended up having to meet him at a Papa Do's and treat him to uh, uh, drinks and, oh, no. <laughs> and a lunch to get him to sign the contract. He signed it. Uh, I sold it already that same week. As soon as he signed it, I sold it, and I'll probably make about twenty-five grand on that property. Woo! Round of applause. Good. We'll call this the A. Where just because this is a family show, we'll call this the new A technique. You know what the A stands for. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. How much you said you're going to make? About 25000 Okay. 27, 27 to be exact, I think. You're going to have to do repairs or anything to it? I wholesaled it. Okay. Good for you. Or do, you, do, you have, do you have the buyer already? Yes. Uh-huh. I got earnest money. I have $5,000 earnest money deposit already. So it's, it's pretty much sold. How do you sleep at night? Yeah, man, I, I was excited. I wanted to tell you guys about this one because the way I had to chase him and the way he was just trying to, uh, like, be so elusive and not commit to anything, like, it was just ridiculous. And I was being as hard as I could, Claude, just trying to, you know, be the epitome of the gut salesman. And, and he even told me, he's like, man, you're very pushy. So I just felt like you were a great guy. But once we met, he was like, I wanted to adopt you as a son. And, <laughs> you know, I think you're a great salesman. I think you're a great person. Yeah. Okay. He, sleep, he sleeps like a baby. <laughs> it was a drink, wasn't it? Say that again? It was a drink, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got him. A, I just got him one drink. It was kind of early, but it helped him. He was ready to sign right after that. You uh, lubricated the 